Get ready for the SnowRunner Mastodon update, which adds a new truck and a number of bug fixes. Here is the lowdown, courtesy of a tribe called Cars. The wait is over for the new SnowRunner Mastodon update, which brings with it not just a shiny new truck, but also many bug fixes. Stick around for all that info, plus some exciting Season 10 Fix and Connect news. Yes, this is the DLC that is bought separately, as opposed to being included in the Year 3 Pass. However, the bug fixes are included for all players when the game updates. You may have to try and run the game to get it to manually start updating. Speaking on the official Discord, Mr. Esarokin told players that he had reviewed the patch notes, and that there will be more than 50 plus bug fixes in the this update. As someone joked, hopefully 50 new bugs have not been added. Mr. Esarokin also said to expect some thematic content, which would go alongside some kind of event tomorrow, adding that Saber Interactive and Focus Home are releasing some content to support it. This being related to another game Saber Interactive is developing, called Space Marine 2, sequel to the 2011 Warhammer third-person shooter, a new gameplay trailer of which was released today. But first, let us talk about the Zix 612H Mastodon, otherwise known as the Maz 7310 of spin tires and mudrunner fame. Despite being a paid DLC truck, there is greater excitement for what has already appeared as a mod truck. This is partly because it is said to have a three-slot cargo bed, but mainly that it, in the two previous games, was a majestic beast. Will it be as good in SnowRunner? Well, I will be seeing how the new Zix stacks up against the Azor 73210 and 605R, two of SnowRunner's best trucks. But for now, know that it has a large fuel capacity, rear-mounted crane, unique three-slot cargo bed, and a unique-looking fire tank add-on with a 2,500-litre capacity. Based on early driving, it appears to be a useful steed that may well give its rivals a run for their money. It is, however, rather slow with the advanced special gearbox, slow to steer, and does not steer much, giving it a big turning circle. How much does the 24-ton Zix 612H Mastodon DLC cost? Well, expect to pay £3.29 in Great British Pounds, £3.99 in US Dollars, or equivalent in your currency. Fun fact, there are now as many base game trucks as there are optional DLC trucks. Now here is some news I did not expect to talk about. Focus Home has also released a video of new stickers, called Stickers from the Far Future. The video shows some fancy designs that showcase the aforementioned Space Marine 2. These are available for free. Okay, what about all those promised bug fixes as part of Update 23.0? Put the kettle on and make a brew because this is where I get my detail hat on. The Ontario specific bug fixes are no more smoke effect returning after completing putting out the underground fire contract. No more camera fix on a warehouse active zone even if the cargo is missing and no more an error has occurred in the system software in burned forest map on PS4. Saber has also fixed a bug where the resupply zone reward remains locked after finishing Helped Villagers 2, fixed a bug where both water trailers were missing the cargo type icon and capacity in the trailer store menu, and no more soft locking if you remove the oversized cargo during the delivery from the quarry contract. Oh, and that annoying water tower issue? Supposedly, no longer will it bug out if you use Imperial units of measurement. Water amounts will now convert properly too, according to the bug fix list. Co-op water desynchronization issues for water carrier trailer and heavy water carrier trailer are also said to be fixed, as is a bug where water management zones did not display on the minimap in Ontario. As for Nintendo Switch players, supposedly those huge grey stripes at the roadside are gone, and navigation elements should work properly within the submenu of SnowRunner. Vehicle improvements, meanwhile, include no more Derry Special 15C177 mirror clipping through the cabin on Xbox Series consoles, 
and a bug where the fuel went beyond the tank boundaries of the truck repair supplies upgrade for the same truck. New Game Plus has been tweaked too. Expect 5,000 money to be given now on PC. No more pre-filled trailers on PC. Weather conditions can now be adjusted if using the day only option. Truck store filters now work properly on all platforms and rewards are now working for random between 50 and 300% parameter on PC. As for other changes, highlights include various collision fixes, memory and performance optimization for console and PC, game freezes on PS4 when completing the factory reservoirs contract and a bug where players were able to sell fuel at the fuel station. Feel free to check out the link in the description for all fixes Sabre Interactive and Focus Home has made public. Maybe some other stuff has crept in also, let me know if you spot anything in the comments or whether some of those aforementioned bugs persist. Now what about any Season 10 Fix and Connect news? Funny you should ask. As discovered on the official Discord, the forthcoming update not yet on the public test server introduces gateway zones. Wait, what? As per the description for modders, gateway zones can link not only two different maps of the same region, but two different areas within the same map. To make this work, you need to link two gateway zones to each other. In doing so, you can enter one side and spawn at the other one. And here I shall gateway to the ending of my 70th SnowRunner news video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and maybe even donate. Until next time, take care. Bye.